Greetings, everybody. Welcome to H2HDI. And you are watching In Tune with the Triune. So why don't you tune in or tune out from the world and tune in with Yahuwah, who is one, who is Ekad in Hebrew, and most of all, who is one in you. And I uh, just want to thank you and welcome you, all of you new subscribers. We watch you. We are uh, seeing as you are continually subscribing. We want to thank you. And uh, we would encourage you to uh, watch our previous archives. Therefore, you can keep up to date where the Father has uh, been dealing with us and where he has been taking us from our wilderness into a place and into a promised land flowing with milk and honey, meaning milk, the sincere word of the Father, and honey representing the insight of what he's saying for your oversight. Amen? So without no further ado, just want to thank you. Uh, get your pens and your papers ready because I want to take you somewhere where the Father has been leading me and guiding me because uh, I was uh, listening to this past Sabbath message about honor and uh, I'll put the title and the link below right here. And what's amazing is that he was speaking to my mindset and in this past terabyte before, if you watch this first, I recommend you watch the terabyte first uh, with a hosted by Apostle Robert Gonzalez and he's going to show you and at uh, why our mind, why we need to be renewed into thinking more like the Father and not like our own stinking thinking. I know what I'm saying because I've been through there. When I first came into H2HDI, I had stinking thinking. I'm not saying of lust or lasciviousness. I'm saying stinking thinking where it was all the old man nature that didn't want to be renewed to the mindset of Mashiach or the mindset of Christ. So that's called stinking thinking because it's a dead man nature, dead works. If you go to a, and I'm not saying go do it, I'm saying if you go to a morgue or if you go somewhere where you smell a dead animal or a dead being, then you will be have, a, you will smell the stink, the stench in the air. I'm not saying doing it, but it's just common things that come to pass. Amen. So now I want to take you and uh, what the Father's been dealing with me is the mindset because it, within our own mindset, um, I had a question that was uh, risen up within me. And the question was, you know, do you think from your mind that is connected to your soul or do you think uh, from the mind that's connected to your heart? Right. Listen to what I'm saying very carefully because this is a thing that's been uh, dealing with me. I'm talking about myself. Do I think from the uh, realm of soul or do I think from the realm of the heart? You know, and that's uh, it's something very... How can I explain it to you? It's something to meditate and to think on because our ways of thinking are not like the Father's, but yet we got to renew our mind. Romans 12, 2, don't turn there. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Continue to think like Him. Continue to be like Him. How do you, are you going to do that? By always reading the Scriptures. And let me take you there. And what's interesting is that uh, as I was uh, reading the Scriptures, uh, it just was touching me because the father was just quickening me too in my heart and i want to take you to proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 7 and this is uh something that uh we were speaking about i'm not going to go more into it but this is something that uh, pertains to the house so i'm going to start on verse 5 and he says will you set your eyes on that which is not for riches certainly make themselves wings they fly away like an eagle toward heaven do not eat the bread of a miser, nor desires his delicacy. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. And that scripture right there stuck to me because how many times do we, uh, and I'm going to say, break bread with the enemy and not realize that that's the enemy? Come on. And we all go through that. Sometimes in our ascension process to be one with the Father, we all go through these things so that way we learn who we are to break bread with and who are we to be uh, take dominion over. And you know what's interesting is that the Father gave us dominion. If you read Genesis 20, uh, chapter 1, 26 and 27, and I'm going to turn there, I want to show you what he's saying to you and I this day because it pertains to who you're speaking with, who is around you, what kind of person is around you. Are, they, are you surrounded by people that will help to change and challenge you into your destiny? Or are you just uh, being around with people that are just creeps? 
And I'm not saying creeps where it's saying, oh, that guy's or that woman's creepy the way they talk. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the people that just see in the natural realm and don't want to advance and don't want to take a challenge within their own being as to how far they can advance who they are in themselves in the Father. And they won't see that because they creep. They are people set in motion. Let me read uh, Genesis 1.26. And he says, Now you, who was said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And that Hebrew word right there for creeping uh, is Hebrews 7430, and it's ramaz, R-A-M-A-S, ramaz, which means to creep, move lightly, set in motion in this earth. But they're not sent from Yahuwah. Listen to what I'm saying. Set in motion in the earth but not sent from Yahuwah. So Yahuwah knew that he set in order here, but he made us in the image and likeness because that is an honor for us to come into that revelation, that he made us in his honor, in his esteem, in his image and likeness. But what's amazing to me is that as uh, I was reading this, I was saying, man, the Father is telling us we have dominion because, let's turn there, Psalms chapter 37. I want to show you something. This is what he's saying to you and I this day. Psalms chapter 37, verse 23 and 24. And he says, The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahuwah upholds him with his hand. Isn't that amazing how the Father says, You may stumble you know, by the creeping thing that comes, but guess what? How do you not stumble if he has, if he's holding your hand to get back up, take off the dust off your shoulder and move on? You know, he's saying that to you now this day. And how does that good man uh, delight in the ways of the father? It says right there in verse four in the same chapter, delight also yourself in Yahuwah and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Verse five, commit your way to Yahuwah, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Isn't that amazing how the Father sets, ordains us in order, ordains us in honor by his steps as we continue to commit to him? That's why he says, you can set the, path, the steps and, uh, of the right, it says so right there in the scripture. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahuwah. So now you have the authority, the power, and dominion to step over what was set in order uh, by the fall of man. Did you know that? That's why the Father is looking at you this day. He says, are you going to continue to keep breaking bread with those who are creeps? Or are you going to continue to break bread with the one who has knitted you and has created you and molded you in your mother's womb? He gave you a promise, a process, a preparation to live out the performance of that promise. Amen? So that's why I want to encourage you and to continue to say, be careful who you break bread with. Even at work, even at, uh, when you go make friends, even at church, believe it or not. Because if you're a kingdom son, guess what? You can see yourself breaking bread with other kingdom sons as well. But remember, the kingdom sons are those that are able to actually bypass that lie to say that, uh, no, that the law is done away with. That is hermeneutically not true. The Father came to fulfill it. But Yeshua came to say, I have come to give you life and life more abundantly in the Father. That's why we got to read Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, because when we begin to see that our generation, our genealogy lies within the scriptures. The question is, can you begin to see yourself already hidden within the Father, being manifested until the time appointed has come? Can you do that? Well, without no further ado, just want to thank you. I kept this short. I said I was going to keep it short, but uh, I just want to continue to encourage you because you have dominion as a son to set a step over what is set in order in this earth. Can you believe that?
So again, one, uh, if you want to go back to learning what that word uh, in Hebrew words for the word creeping, it means set in motion in the earth to creep, move lightly. And some of you, and I have friends like that and co-workers like that, but I got to learn how to cut off the uh, umbilical cord and start relying on the Father more and trust and lean on Him, not on my own understanding. Because therefore, because some of these men can come in, creep, and give you a thought or an idea saying, hey, why are you giving you know, tithes and offerings to your pastor? Hey, why are you continuing to you know, work on, not work on Saturday? You know, you can make more money on Saturday. You can do this. I understand that. I can't. But I continue and I want to pursue and honor Yahuwah and live out accordingly to his word. So therefore, the desires of my heart may come to pass. And he shall bring forth my righteousness as light and my justice as noon as day. So until we see each other again, just want to thank you, welcome you. And oh, and the Hebrew word right there was in uh, Genesis 1.26 is Hebrew 74.30. It is Ramaz, R-A-M-A-S, to creep, move lightly. So continue to dwell in the scriptures, continue to reside in it. And let him challenge your thinking a little bit. Let the Father challenge your thinking and be not conformed to this world, but be uh, renewed by the washing of the water of the world and world of the word, excuse me, and think like him. It's a baruch and a benefit to think like him and to be like him. Amen. So without no further ado, just want to say thank you, welcome you. Uh, hit the like, the share button, comment something, tell me what you learned. Uh, and we do read the comments. We do reply to you. We are still praying with you. Patricia from Kenya, just want to th say thank you for watching. Uh, Ed Daniels, want to say shalom to you. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And may Yahuwah baruch you with his shalom and his love covering up uh, your household this day. Jeanette, Jackie, just want to say thank you also. And uh, don't forget to hit the like, the share button, and subscribe to H2HDI for more content to come, such as Terabytes, hosted by Apostle Robert Gonzalez. We have Let Isha Speak, that is hosted by Prophet Virginia Gonzalez. We have our Sabbath live stream from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday. And every Saturday that the Father speaks through His servant's son, there's just a dynamic force that changes the listener and therefore it causes them to change because that question came to me when I was listening to the message of the Sabbath past and he says do you think uh, do you think from your mind that that's from the soul or from your heart that's something I would have never thought of if I didn't uh, continue to serve Yahuwah this day so until we see each other again just want to thank you welcome you have a great day have a great morning a great evening in him so until we see each other again, shalom, shalom.